G'day everyone, I'm James and welcome to your Sijin Wave news update for April 2nd, 2020. Our top stories today. Ooh, what a, what a day it's been. So, in gaming, Bethesda has announced today that uh, they won't be having a digital showcase whatsoever this year where they would normally have their E3 event. Are they having anything instead? Uh, well, there's talk t- that they may be moving this to another time slot, but nothing has been confirmed in detail. Right, okay. So, bit bit disappointing, but um, what can you do? Uh, hopefully, we'll have some more information on this. But, f- for the time being, we'll have to do what we can do with that. Next up... Mortal Shell has been announced. Oh, my goodness. Now, this is a pretty cool game. So, I'm actually going to show the people online. So, Mortal Shell, what is it? It's basically going to be like a Dark Souls game. And, uh... If you've ever played Dark Souls, it's quite a challenging game. Matthew, have you played Dark Souls? Oh, I've I've never delved into that myself, actually. I'm more of the rage-quitting sort of kind, so if I die a lot, then I rage-quit, so no. (laughs) Well, it's going to be a game that's coming out later this year, and it's going to be on uh, PC and PS4, as well as uh, Xbox One. And uh, we have a trailer as well, which is pretty... Interesting. Uh, I don't know if we're allowed to show it, but basically, Cold Symmetry Studios are basically making this game. I've got to be honest. When I saw the trailer today, it looked absolutely awesome. So let's uh, check it out for the moment. We'll just try that again. YouTube seems to be having some issues today, so I'm just going to reload this page and uh, try it again. You seem different. There we go. Untouched by false truths. gifts from the unwilling, or will you let them rot? Bring the glands back to me.
And there you go. You could see how awesome this game looks. Like, Yep, looks exactly <laughs> like Dark Souls gameplay. Actually, I think it looks better. Sorry if I'm uh, hurting a bit of Dark Souls fans here, but this game looks absolutely cool, and I am very excited for this game. Mm, perhaps I'll give it a go this time. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. I don't know when it's coming out, but they're saying it's going to be coming uh, Q3 2020. So hopefully we might get it earlier. Fingers crossed. So, yes. Moving on. So we have a very interesting topic right now. Borderlands 3 devs are reportedly not getting their expected bonuses. Now, this game, I'll be honest, was probably one of my favourite games of 2019. Borderlands 3 was so good. I loved the gameplay. I loved it all. Way better than Borderlands 2, in my opinion. For the gameplay, the story, yeah, not so much. But for the devs to not be getting their expected bonuses, that's a bit mean, to be honest. Yeah, where's the bonuses? Have they come out and said? Well, reportedly, if we go back to uh, this article here, just hopefully that's... Uh, yep, cool. Randy Pitchford was supposed to give out these bonuses to these developers, and um, that didn't end up uh, happening. See, earlier reports were if everything was good for Borderlands 3, the devs were actually going to get uh, a much higher bonus. So what was being quoted here online, you can see here, sources speaking to Kotaku, right? Uh, Randy Pitchford, who took 12 million bonus in 2016, held a meeting yesterday in which he told his employees that their bonuses would be much less ex than expected. Pitchford uh, apparently cited that the game being more expensive than anticipated to make. The company is expanding an off-base sales projection as the reasoning behind this, and he didn't even point this to the current pandemic that we're having at the moment. The company is known for paying its workers less than the industry standard, but would have made up for it through the profile. Uh, profiting uh, sh sharing royalties from all the developers uh, games would be split 60 slash 40 with 60 percent going back to gearbox and its owners while the remaining 40 percent would have been split between the employees and in the form of uh, quarterly bonuses this has been going on since the studio was founded and the report that indicates that the bonuses from borderlands 2 were so large that some employees were able to buy houses with that money. That's crazy, right? Management apparently uh, promises some of Borderlands 3's team that they would get a six-figure bonus this year. That hasn't happened. Gearbox provided a following statement to Kotaku with this information. Borderlands 3, quote, represents an incredible value to gamers and an incredible achievement by the team at Gearbox Software. Our studio is talent-led and we believe strongly in everyone sharing in profitability. The talent at Gearbox enjoys participation in the upside of our games. To our knowledge, the most generous royalty bonus system in AAA. Since this program began, Gearbox Talent has earned over a hundred million in royalty bonuses, above and beyond the traditional compensation. In the most recent pay period, Gearbox Talent enjoyed uh, news that Borderlands 3, having earned revenue exceeding the largest investment ever made by the company, into a single video game, had officially become a profitable video game and the talent at Gearbox that participated in the royalty bonus system has now earned their first royalty bonus on that profit. Additionally, a forecast update was uh, given to the talent at Gearbox that participated in the royalty bonus to set expectations for the, quarter, uh, the coming quarters. Gearbox is a private company and that does not issue forward-looking statements to the public, 
but we do practice transparency within their own family. Yeah, so a bit disappointing. Like this game has, as we probably know a bit about this, there was a lot of crunch time. And if you don't know what crunch time means, it uh, basically means people were working overtime. That didn't end up uh, being the case. They didn't... uh, they get, didn't get paid. They didn't get their full pay that they uh, wanted. Well, that's a bit dumb, yeah. Yeah, so it sucks that they're not getting their proper bonus that they were supposedly going to be getting, but, um, yeah, that sucks. And I really think Randy should be the nice guy here and actually give this team that did just an amazing job with Borderlands 3 and give them some of their... A higher bonus. I mean, I, I think they deserve it. Yes. Yeah, it's like dangling a carrot in front of them and promising them the carrot, but they never get it. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, next up, we'll go back to our news story here. Rockstar, well, yes, Rockstar releases an April Fool's prank that uh, covers GTA Online and Red Dead Online in snow. Now, this actually isn't something that Rockstar normally does, but uh, basically today, if you hop on GTA Online or even Red Dead Online, you'll be able to uh, get a bit of snow for a change. It's a lot of fun. Uh, If you've ever played on GTA Online or Red Dead Online in the snow time, this is normally around Christmas. Well... Now you can have that fun again. So At least they haven't gone out and saying, oh, no, it's not snow, it's salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Ew. Salt in the eyes? Oh, that would be stinging. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Next up, Phil Spencer has been in the talks with Xbox Series X pricing and more. So, yes, we actually have an article here. Uh, Is it going to cost an arm and a leg, my arm and a leg? Oh, uh, well, we're about to... I've been practicing hopping, so... <laughs> I hope I hope you have, but I reckon we're going to see a $1,000 price tag on this thing. <laughs> so uh, That sounds like at least an arm. According to GameSpot here, uh, Phil Spencer's been in the talks with uh, IGN. This is where I got this article from. Spencer says that uh, he's feeling confident about the price point and he believes that Microsoft has a winning plan for the next generation consoles as it competes with the PlayStation 5. Quote, I feel good about the price and we're going to be able to get it to basically a good price tag. (laughs) No. Spencer says, I feel good about that price and the performance capabilities that we have for the Series X. I feel it's incredibly strong about the overall package. Now, the price isn't set yet, so Spencer's basically keeping his eyes wide open at this time. Uh, Basically, he's just waiting for the PlayStation 5 to be revealed. Um, I would say we're looking at for Australian... It could be for this Series X. It could be eight hundred. Could be eight hundred indeed. Uh, could be a bit more than eight hundred. I'm thinking myself personally, it's going to be a thousand dollars due to the performance and the specs that this machine has. Don't forget, it's twelve teraflops, man. But you've also got to think about the market. It's really dwindled, so I don't know if they're going to be charging a lot of money when it comes to this sort of stuff. Well, Spencer went on to say here that the overall goal no, overall goal with the Xbox Series X price is to stay agile and the set price that meets or surpasses the expectations of us fans. He added, the value of the Xbox Series X is beyond the console alone. Also, uh, factoring in the appeal of services like Xbox Game Pass, which I love, and backwards compatibility. He also mentions that smart delivery feature is an offering that players might find value in to help them feel comfortable in buying into the Xbox platform. Well, as we know, the Xbox One and the Xbox One X, they're saying he launched at 500 USD pricing. For us in Australia, we had the Xbox One launch around 549, if I remember rightly. 
right? Yeah, about that price. And then the Xbox One X was six forty nine. And I think it, it it even went up more after that. So then I think it went six seventy nine. So yeah, I would say we're looking at probably a high price range. So it basically feels good about seeing the uh, PlayStation 5 reveal in March, but um, nothing's been really said on this. Another article is, Microsoft is currently not working on a plan B for the Xbox Series X launch. So Phil Spencer said a bit more about this uh, on what their plan B is. So in other words, they're just going to splash it in your face and that'll be it. Ah, well, <laughs> they're, they're hoping that they'll be able to bring this system out with no delays whatsoever and they won't have production issues in bringing this out. So hopefully there is enough supply. And we talked about this yesterday on our show. So, yeah, cool. We do have some new Xbox Series X images here, which is why today I'm actually showing the screen. Yesterday was a real bad schmozzle. Today I worked out all the issues, so... This is some of the uh, images that we're seeing with the new Xbox Series X. That's the back of it. Um, that's our cards. It's a Seagate uh, SSD card that you can plug in back. And if you look Just like on, the classic ones. If you look on the back here, there's a little slot here. And that is where you would plug the card in. So Only one card? Uh, yeah, only one card. Mm. So... I think over time, we're going to have probably this bigger SSD card slot. As you know, the Xbox Storage. 360 had that sort of plan, and they had two. So they've taken a little bit of a step back. Yeah, it reminds me a bit of the old uh, 360 card system. So, yeah, it's good that uh, we've seen a bit more about this. I Actually, it's great that we're seeing behind it, because you can... Uh, get a bit of an idea now what to look well, at. Well, it gives us a little bit more of longevity rather than uninstalling a game that we really like and then reinstalling uh, another game that we want to play. Yeah, and according to Phil Spencer, you'll be able to transfer everything from your Xbox One system to Xbox Series X with no issues whatsoever. So everything's going to transfer over. How much storage does it have by itself, though, without the SD cards? Uh, that, I believe, is a one terabyte. So you could potentially get two terabytes yeah. of stories. Wow. So, next up, we have another article here. And uh, there's a new game trailer that's actually come out today of a game called... Crab Champions. So, let's check this out. Yes, August 20th it's uh, coming. That wow. looks so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, uh, We've it's by... We've got to uh, play that on the channel. Yeah, well, we'll get to that another day. But, uh, yes, it's by Noise Storm. And uh, this just looks really cool because Noise Storm, he actually makes some of the some really cool music. And for him to be now making a game, that's cool. So... August 20th, it's coming early access to Steam. 
it's going to be awesome. Now, I know you're probably going, hang on, you're missing an article. On there it says Minecraft has a new update. We're going to get to that because that's the unique special thing that we're going to be doing. This is going to be a very long one tonight because there's a lot we're cramming in. So, we're going to get to the tech news. Here's your tech news. So, Zoom. Zoom's in the headlines again. Now, I don't know what to think of this because yesterday it was about leaking our information out from a, in the actual Zoom application itself. Now, people are finding ways of getting our login names and passwords. And this is through Windows. <laughs> oh my God, it's like Zoom just said, hmm, how can we screw this up even more? <laughs> okay, so there's a bit more on this as well. So it's not just Windows here. This is an article that's come from Windows Central, but Mac is also having the same issues. And we'll start with the Windows one first, because this is quite important for everyone that's using Zoom at this current uh, time frame. So there's vulnerability allowing hackers to obtain Windows login names and passwords. Uh, the vulnerability relies on people clicking a link that is actually a Windows networking UNSC path, not UNSC, like the, a halo, no. <laughs> <laughs> UNSC path. And if a person basically clicks the link, Zoom will send that person's login name and the HTLM password hash, which can be used to obtain the person's password. So, uh, that that's getting... Can you avoid that, though? Or is it when you're signing up? Well, uh, that's a tricky one because I use Zoom, as I said yesterday, in the news show. And... Yeah, I could see how this is being able to be obtained of people's information. Um, yesterday we had the thing of we could see everyone's directory and all the data was exposed. Now people were able to do this. But for Mac, and there's an article for Mac, but I'll get to that. Uh, well, actually, I don't know where I find it. But basically for Mac, it was people were able to hack your webcam when you weren't on right and get your audio from the webcam and the mic they can record that and also see you at the same time and they can also somehow uh add you into stuff on mac for some like some other zoom groups but you don't even know so bit creepy and bit scary at the same time <laughs> So, yeah, for everyone using Zoom right now, I would be very careful what you click. You never know where it might lead. Yes. Either that or it could lead to a Rickroll video. <laughs> That's the best case scenario. <laughs> yeah. Next up, Dark Sky has weather app has been acquired by Apple and is now sadly going to be discontinued on Android. What did that do? So basically, this was a weather application. It was a popular one. And uh, basically, they were providing all the best weather information. They were pretty quick at it too. And um, it looks like Apple has decided, boom, we're going we're gonna to get this application and put it to our service. I'm guessing what they're going to do with this, they're going to put this to Apple Weather, which, as you know, is an app on your iPhone. They've got a weather app. And it's not been, it hasn't had a makeover for like many, many years right now. So now I would see Apple with iOS 14 coming out. Copy and paste. <laughs> well, kind of copy and paste. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Dark Sky is basically going to be now owned by uh, Apple. And you're probably going to see probably an Apple Weather app saying Apple Weather by Dark Sky or something, right? So. Yeah, a bit disappointing. As for everyone in Android, the uh, service is going to be discontinued by July 1st. And for Australia, that's going to be July 2nd. So, 
Oh, next one. Telstra. Telstra is cancelling technician visits on site. So, an article from uh, IT News here. Uh, basically, Telstra is uh, not allowing technicians to go on site to either houses or to businesses. So, that's a bit... It's a bit... Ew. Now, this basically was advised on March 21st. And they decided to temporarily pause the mandatory uh, mandatory disconnections of customers from fixed networks under the NBN rollout to reduce the potential for service disruptions during the pandemic crisis. Such freezes have reproductions, and uh, those have been all laid out. In particular, Tilstra is uncertain when it might be able to resume these disconnections and has indicated it may take some time before the scale and time frames affected are cleared. So yeah, if you're wanting some Telstra technicians to come out to your house to do NBN uh, or anything really for that matter, because Telstra pretty much owns everything here in Australia, well, yeah, you're not going to be uh, getting that chance. So. Uh, it's it's good for the people because they're probably very wary of this coronavirus pandemic, yeah, all that, and they don't want to get anything transferred onto them. So, yes, good work, Telstra, in this regard. But in another way, it's er. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of good sides and there's a lot of downsides with this, obviously. Yeah, but these are the d the decisions that we have to make. And they've already had some existing delays on copper disconnections in bushfire areas. So, oh, it just gets worse. <laughs> and the disconnections of these areas have been pushed out to July of this year. Yeah. Okay, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a one. And our final for tech before Matthew takes over. Samsung announces the pricing of the 2020 8K and 4K TVs. Oh, there's also another article that's popped up from some new news. So, okay, Matt, we're not done with you yet, but we'll we'll get to that in a minute. This is actually a pretty cool article that's just popped up here. So, nice. Basically, Telstra, uh, Samsung, sorry, uh, has announced there's new 4K OLED screens, TVs and all that. The pricing that's been confirmed for these TVs, scroll down. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, because when I'm looking in a TV, I want to see geometrical shapes as well. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> these new Samsung TVs and soundbars are now going to be in the stores at these prices. So, OLED AK, a uh, Q950T 85 inch is to be announced. And the 75 inch is to be announced, the 65 inch is to be announced. So, the AK ones are still to be confirmed, which is interesting from this article. But the 4K ones, well, here's where it gets interesting. The Q95T is a 75 inch, $6,999. The 65 inch is $4,649. And the 55 inch is $3,499. And then, as you go on, you've got the 85 inch, 7,549, 75 inch, 5,249, 65 inch, 3,499, 55 inch, 2,549. There's a lot of nines. Uh, they like their nines. Yeah, they, I wish... I wish they didn't have this many models. This is so much. But, yeah, if anyone's looking for these models and want to look them up and what they look like, this has a whole article on this. But the uh, Q70T, 85-inch, 6,399. 75-inch, 4,049. 
65 inch 2699 he's getting a little confused with the numbers right now numbers are bobbling oh yes yeah. uh, 55 inch 2099 <laughs> and the Q60T 75 inch 3349 65 inch 2199 55 inch 1729 the frame one, oh, there's just so many. We could be here Too forever. Too many numbers. There's just, just so many. But yeah. basically, there is some information on all these TVs. The frame one is interesting. Uh, the highest one is the 75-inch. This is that really cool screen that you see. It's 4,649. That's the 75-inch massive screen that... Oh, my goodness. Wow. And the sheriff... Is that how they say it? The sheriff... 55 inch model was 2099 so that's that's pricey that's <laughs> okay so we'll get to some other news now so here i found an article about a asus rog rog gaming laptop it's a dual screen laptop now that's what it looks like, IGN seems to have the information on this first. How does that work? Oh, this is really cool. Um, I saw a bit of it on my tablet here in front of me. It's a non-glare 14.9-inch screen. It's dubbed the ROG ROG uh, Screen Pad Plus. It's a UHD resolution of 38 by 40 by 11... 100 at 60 so he's, he's oh, too man. many numbers now so that's why he's getting confused at the moment <laughs> with touch and stylus support right and it's not as tall as the main monitor panel right well yes you could see it right there and it's sure and it works in a miniature ultra wide so basically this is really cool because you can have a game up on the big screen and then on the screen down here it actually cuts in half and you can have uh, say uh, a news site on this side and then on this side you could have like say discord or skype or even zoom right but while we you're know playing that we don't want zoom now or for us people that are like doing these news updates it's handy for us too because we could be having the game here and we could see on this side uh our application that we're using and then on this side we could have whatever else we want to have running <laughs> it's really cool what's the durability of this though oh this is uh i believe aluminium uh they're calling it the Zipperus Duo 15 inch. Say that fast 10 times. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is really cool, and I haven't seen anything quite like this before. 15.6 uh, inch, it's uh, available in two variants Quad HD 60. Well, yeah, 60 hertz. Ah, if it was a bit. But I can understand. Uh, a 1080p version that runs at 300 hertz. Well, that's more like it. Uh, with three, three millisecond response time. Wow, three millisecond. The former is for creative work, while the speed is for the latter. Designed for game performance. So, yeah. This is a gaming and creative machine. I really want one of these. It's powered by an Intel 10th generation CPU, and it's either an i7 it comes in or an i9. It's got a NVIDIA RTX series of graphics cards with the choice of a 2070 Super or the 2080 Super. And as for the memory and the storage, where well, you can get a 32 gig of RAM and two terabytes of N V M E <laughs> SSD storage in RAID 0. That is quick. Right. Additionally, the laptop comes with a 90 watt battery and it can be uh, powered through a Thunderbolt port. And it's got a liquid metal thermal compound on the CPU, which allows for 10% performance increase. There's also lifting action, which I was reading a tiny bit on this, on my tablet. The second screen opens up for venting, so that's really cool. And you would you would need it for this uh, performance. I, I just love this thing, and 
the problem is it comes in a pretty hefty price tag. So $2,999 is for the entry model. As for Australia, I don't know when we're going to get this. Um, there's going to be a beefier version, a 2080 Super coming in at $3,999. I would say we're probably looking at, for this, the, the highest one, probably about 4000 could be 45 so 4599 I think that's what we're looking at, possibly for Australia. We'll see. Um, yeah, the entry model, I think for Australia, we're going to be definitely in this sort of money-ish, so. Not bad. So here is Matthew with his entertainment news. Take it away. Thanks, James. Our top story. J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World Harry Potter launch at home. Wow. Yeah. This is just for, um, obviously, the parents and their kids, if they want to get them into Harry Potter. Um, it's used for a great distraction. <laughs> Yes, well, okay, so tell us a bit more. What does this actually involve? What has J.K. Rowling actually put out? It's basically an audiobook service. Uh, the first one's free, but then you have to sign up to the site. To so get it's like them. a subscription service? Yeah, kind of like Audible. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, next story. Um, very sad one, um, I'm afraid. Yeah, it seems to be a some sad ones here. Yeah, for the music industry. For those that know Fountain of Wayne's, um, their songwriter has died at age 52 yeah. due to this unprecedented circumstance of the world right now. Um, yeah, this the outbreak... Yeah, yeah, disappointing and saddening. Everything. Alan happened. has left behind um, two daughters yeah. and, well, a divorced wife. Yeah. And and his music will forever be heard. Yeah. Especially this uh, song that he's well known for, which is Stacy's Mom. So any fans of that song out there, you would have no doubt heard that on repeat on radio at some point. Mm. More tributes have been coming out lately online today saying, oh, he helped me through this and he helped me write this song. One of those tributes um, seemed to be um, from my favourite artist, Rob Thomas, who always fell back on him and said, oh, I'm stuck on songwriting, can you help me out? And he was always there for him, so it was a very close-to-home loss for Rob Thomas and I'm sure other musicians as well. Mm. Okay, next story. Ellis Marshalls Jr. has also passed away. Now, it's not said that he passed away due to COVID, but it's implied because he was rushed to hospital with symptoms. Uh, he was 82 years old, so he lived a good life. But, again, cut short. Just, just outrageous. Hmm. I thought it'd be um, better that I'd say both musicians together because both were icons in the industry. Hmm. And this loss is... Yeah. Shoes that will never be filled. Yeah. Um, the jazz musician um, brought about music to New Orleans. It was... Well, it was a very different time back then, mm -hmm. as you can no doubt tell. 82 years old. I'm still stunned at that. 82 years old. He was well in the age range, though, for falling victim to this... Mm. Yeah, I just added a bit more music there. Yeah. He he bring bebop style. So all the bebop, 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 boop, 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 boop sort of songs. Uh -huh. 
So it really brought a new atmosphere to New Orleans. Yeah, he was the one known for that. Wow. Yeah. Our next story is Netflix. Now, there's two stories for Netflix. One is horror shows, two horror shows have been cancelled. Yes, any fans of V Wars or October Faction? I'm sorry to say this, but it's gone. No! <laughs> no! But this follows after news after Lock and Key was just announced for a second season, so probably filling uh, the shoes mm. of that. Which yeah. is a little bit of horror in itself, isn't it? Mm. I would say so. Uh, yeah. It had a little bit of creepy elements in it. From what I've seen, yeah, it seems to be a bit scary, but it seems kind of more... Light-hearted scary, so It seems more teen, teenager sort of show. Lock yeah. Key, so. uh. Yeah, the October faction, damn. <laughs> yeah, so those two shows, sorry to say it, guys, it's gone. Um, our last story is the final season of Empire is cut short. Now, I am upset about this. What are you thinking right now, James? Oh my goodness. Like, I love this show to bits, and for them to cut it short is just so annoying. So this is the final season, or is this of the series? Um, it looks like it. Final season of the series. Or is it going to be like a spin-off as well? Mm, interesting. Maybe. I don't see them doing a spin-off since the show was so good just as is. I wouldn't see them doing a spin-off with like Cookie going off on her own or doing mm. whatever then because she was in jail at this time so there's not much to delve off there but... Yeah. And mm. that's all the stories for entertainment. Thank you. Well, just before we uh, go, we do have a story for people out there that want to grab a free game today. A oh, free wow. game, yes. This is a new game that's just come out today, and it's called Totally Reliable Delivery Service, and it's available for the first week of their launch, but free today on the Epic Games Launcher. So if you haven't got that game, with all their other games, there's, there's so many, <laughs> you're getting quite a quite a lot now. So don't forget, today is your final day to get World War Z, Drawful 2, Figment, Tormentor, X Punisher. That's all free. That's like five games. That's enough to keep you busy. Yeah. <laughs> and tomorrow we'll get uh, Gone Home and Hob, but we'll talk about that again and remind people it's always good that we do that. So, Minecraft. Okay, so, I have a little plan here. <laughs> Minecraft has a new update. Yes. So, I'm going to show you this new update. We've been uh, holding this off for a bit. Minecraft has a new update today, and it is very interesting. <laughs> Yes, this is the new update. And you're probably going, what is this? And how is this? And probably lost at the same time on what we're actually doing. So, a bit of insight. What this is, is it's an April Fool's joke. So as you know, uh, the rest of the world is one day behind us. And uh, Mojang for you know what, let's do a funny joke today, as they always do on April Fool's, and make Minecraft really strange. And they're calling it this, the final infinity, uh, infinity update, right? It's like a snapshot. And uh, basically, they're allowing you to travel to infinite dimensions. So how this works is... I just want to make sure it's getting recorded. Yep, cool. The lag on that part. <laughs> there would be lag, and there's a very good reason for this. So, this is the snapshot. What Mojang's done is they've made all the blocks scattered around, so you can't find anything anymore. <laughs> As you can see. 
Oh my god, what a mess. Even the tools that you normally use are all out of order. Unbelievable. And they're thrown in, at the same time, some new blocks that you've never seen before in Minecraft to make it way worse. But are these going to be sticking around? So, this is just a little snapshot. You can get it free today uh, for Minecraft. They always do these little snapshots. It's what allows you to test Minecraft and all the new features. You can do this, and I'm going to show you what you can do from this. So, I'm going to remember, it was a book. Yes, okay, so... This has got a lot of explaining to do, and I think we could be here making another video on this, but uh, just a quick thing of what it is, and it's probably not going to be quick, right? But basically, here is what they call the box of infinite blocks, right? This goes in many different colors, and what happens is if you right-click on it, you get given a book. Now... From there, you actually need to, and Matthew's never seen this, so even he's... At I'm the flabbergasted <laughs> right now, I'm just looking on. Even he is going, what? You have to make a portal, right? So, Which is fine when you're in creative, easy. Yep, easy. Flint and steel. So, yeah. that would normally take you to the never. But, if you grab this book that you got on here, and these are all randomly generated, so we'll just have a... A quick look, you could see there's a bunch of weird Oh text. my gosh. Yeah. It's okay. like the game got hacked. And if you go in here, this is your page of just gibberish text. It's quite insane. So is it like a generator that just writes stuff on your... Yeah, this has just never been done before. And I had to throw this in today as a news update. And I thought, this is really cool because wait till I show people. So basically... You drop it on the portal, it changes the color, right? And then you walk in and it randomly makes a d completely different dimension. So here, and there's two billion, you heard me right, wow. two billion dimensions that are all random. Let that sink in, everyone. Two billion dimensions but there's no way the developers design this themselves like all these different dimensions uh this is all basically randomly scattered around so up here you can oh see my we gosh. have <laughs> oh my gosh we actually have pirate ships if you guys need a light trap well this is the place to come <laughs> and as you can see the sky even changes colors so you name it it happens even the dragon <laughs> You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of that scene from Star Wars with all the Star Destroyers. <laughs> well, I think that could be what it might be, but um, yeah, so this ship is just randomly generated, and as you can see, it's laggy, right? And there is just so many different choices. So if we go back to our portal, if we can find it, because it's... Oh my wow. god, the lag. Yeah, it's laggy. And that's because of what There's we're doing right now. Down you there. can see we got bubbles in the air. Is it's so trippy. Um, I I just had to throw this in as a news story because I think this is certainly something people want to want to see. So that takes us back to the normal world. But here's a cool thing. We'll just go back in there for a sec again, and we got a book here, right? Now, if I type in. 360, right? And I sign it, and I do it again, 360, and I sign and close, right? Now, if I throw this book in there, this is going to create a world for me, as we know, because I'm JSP360. And <laughs> this is 360. Wow. Uh, not much in this world. <laughs> Oh, this is... Oh, it's still loading. It, 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 yeah. I, I would say we're, like, high up in the oh air. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It knows that you like snow. Uh, no, this is... Oh, wait, no, it's not snow. Never mind. No. But you can see here that even the color changes to blue-green, which is my color scheme, funny enough. There's even a bit of yellow, uh, some red... Epilepsy warning for those watching right now. Yeah. 
And you can see here we got some <laughs> redstone. Just a little bit of redstone. Yeah. Just a little so bit. <laughs> really funky and weird. And you can actually keep doing this in the world itself. So if we go and make another portal here, right? Oh my god, this is about to get weird. Very, very, I hope very, I very, 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 very put weird. it the same length. Cool. Uh, we're going to make another box of infinite blocks. And uh, like I said, this is all random. And if we click on this, there's another book. So this bunch of text again. So all random. Gibberish. Yes. Random. Cool. Cool. Right. Throw it in. Throw it in. Different color portal. How many colors can there be? It's infinite. Oh my gosh. And look at this. Oh my god. How's that for a picture? <laughs> Oh wow. My. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. It's it's insane. Oh my goodness. And you can just keep doing this forever. Oh my. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Right? And if you've got an existing portal, right? You can overwrite it. So, I'll throw that in there. It might take a sec. Might be the same color. No. That's different. That is very... Wow. Oh. <laughs> uh. I, I don't even know what this is. It's like Look, it's... it's a, boats. It's, it's more boats, it's guys. Like, uh, I don't think it... It's oh, it's the new bone block. Yeah. So, I this is like just really trippy and... You can come up with some really random things and I think we should actually do a, a segment on this because this is just crazy. And now I can't but even find my But it's not going away, is it? Uh, no, definitely not. Um, you can basically make a survival world right now using just random uh, terrain generation. I just think this is so cool. <laughs> so we'll make an R portal, right? And there is like a list online on... Uh, You're too discombobulated to make a portal. <laughs> yeah. There is a uh, thing online that actually has a list of these two billion worlds. Oh my goodness, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Who had the time to make that? I don't know what to say to that, but, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Look at hey, this. Hey, it's chest world. It's chest world. <laughs> Infinite storage, everybody. <laughs> Just when you thought you ran out of storage. Oh, oh look, it's got stuff look at that. All the supplies. Wow. Apples and sticks and bread. Do you like apples and sticks but and bread? We're not done yet because there is a ton of Oh, my of God. Things. Look down below. Go look down below. Yeah. It's laggy for a Good. Down below. Oh my gosh, look at all those chests. <gasps> are they all filled? I think they are too. Uh oh, why'd you fall down? Here, we'll check. Yeah. My goodness, that that's crazy. Oh wow, look at that. There's a big giant up here. That's crazy. Apparently Even the, the mob... enemies in this world is gigantic. Yeah. And it just, it gets crazier and weirder and stranger and, oh, you could be here forever. And I think a lot of people are going to be exploring this for a lot of times. Here's a, a whitish one. Oh, wow. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh. I don't know why, but that, that, oh, that oh that's satisfying. <laughs> it's like it's kind of bamboo, but. It's like rain. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, it reminds that's... me of the Matrix somehow. That's oh, satisfying. that's cool. That's so satisfying. And look at this. We even got like colored things. Now it gets better, right? I told you this was going to be a very long news update, and for good reason. Today we had a really fun thing to show everyone. Right? This is normally something that never happens, and we won't be like this in the future. But uh, here we have got a red one. But I'm going to grab another book again. I'm going to show you something really strange right. so what we're gonna do we're going to do <laughs> um 
balls. Of course, you would type in balls. Yes. But does it, is it smart enough to read the word balls and say, okay, find a world, world with balls? Well, you can actually pass this on to people, supposedly. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Get it? <laughs> uh, I don't think there's a chance again, that, so we'll have to do that again. But, um... Book balls. <laughs> balls. <laughs> balls. Uh-huh. Balls. More balls. Is it taking us? Whoa. Yeah. It's the rainforest. It's this the rain. is what balls is supposedly. This is what happens when you type in balls, guys. And I'm not actually doing this to the color. This is because of what I've done. Now, this looks like a standard Minecraft world. However, it's not. All right, down here, you've got wood everywhere which you normally would not have would not <laughs> yeah would not yeah this is insane we get better so say we want to go to let's let's put in the word space and see what we get oh yes perfect space all right you can come up with all random names and they're going to give you each a different result red ooh space Oh, yeah, that oh, looks like that's space. That's definitely space. Well, you might have got onto something here. Yeah, wow, this is really cool. Look at how the colors change. So, not done yet. So, there was another thing that was added. I <laughs> know, oh, there's a lot in this, and I would Soap have... and water was added. Yeah. <laughs> if I quit out of here, we start again, right? And I open Minecraft... Pretty sure this is gonna pop up again. I don't know if that's popping up. Yeah, see, even the loading screen is so weird and it changes all the time. So it's, it's crazy. There's different sounds and music, really odd. We could try that again if you want. Um, this is this is definitely a news update today, and we will have to do something more in depth to this because this kind of came out of the blue, and I was like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to cover this, but um, yeah, let's try that again, and you'll see it goes random again. So let's see if that loads. Waiting for it to load. Click on it again. Wow, well, Minecraft knows how to get an April Fool's spirit. Oh, here we go. Everyone seeing that? It just flipped around like really strange. <laughs> there is just so many different things, but we're not done yet. So, if you go into single more. player, oh, there is so much more. I, I, I'm gonna have to literally cover this as its own thing. And we're probably going to have to do probably, I don't know, 2 billion videos on this because 2, 2 billion results. So, create a new world. We go into here and we go creative course, but we go into new, these world option types here. So, we put bonus chest on. If you go into world type and you change it into a new thing called buffet, you could do amplify, which goes just insane. But if you go into customize here, you'll see biome for player with no time for nonsense and all these different results are in here as well this gets more stranger when you add on top you can add the seeds as, as well you go into here and we go uh, april fools <laughs> nice all right You see when it loads, it's quite intense. Oh wow, it's uh, I can see what it's done on my screen. Stretch the screen. So, seems that the Minecraft had a bit of an issue there. 
That's because it's a snapshot, so that's expected. All right. Uh, okay, so the secret isn't in this standard, okay? If you want to see the secret, you've got to do the, the way again with the bookcases. So you get a box of infinite blocks. Funny, I got that on the first try. And Can now... Can you actually craft that? Uh, yes. Ish. I, th I think so. I don't know. It's a good question. If we go into... Down here, we're going to find obsidian. There we go. And uh, flint and steel. Apologies for that screen being weird. I'll show you guys again what Looks I'm like done. we're going to be becoming a mi Minecraft channel, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But um, just for people that missed it, because Minecraft did some really weird thing with the screen, like I said, single player, create a new world, creative, more options, world type here, right? Scroll down to buffet, and then look for biome with no player for no time for nonsense. And then you can put a seed in there and put your stuff in there. So that's for the people that missed it. So anyway, back to our world again. Oh, wow. There's a lot. There's a lot today in this thing. And it's, it's getting harder every day because I'll be honest, even doing news updates, we even struggle to find news. And it's being talked about that with this pandemic issue that we're facing there isn't a lot of news to talk about <laughs> so yeah we might end up having to not do news updates on some days there is some interesting news that I do want to share here we go <laughs> and that is so here we go so for the There's player with no nonsense that's that's the thing right you have these weird creatures. <laughs> You've got stairs. These are stairs, right? I know it's dark, and that's because this is how special this thing is. There's lava everywhere. <laughs> There's these uh, crazy light beams. That's why it's called No Time for Nonsense. They've just stuffed everything they could possibly throw in here. And you can only get it if you do these little tricks. And, like I said, so you had the 2 billion for the standard way. You have 2 billion on top for this crazy way. Oh. Yeah. That's the little thing that I was hiding from everyone. So, <laughs> yeah. And if you're smart and lucky enough, and it's hard to find, in here, and you can see we've got some really weird plants that have created... Right? Wow, that's so cool. There's another portal that takes you to the most wackiest place you've ever seen. Like, you thought the other places were wacky. If you can find a little small portal, like it's really small. Wait, what was that over there? It's tricky to find, so. You've got the, the portal things here. You just gotta know how to get it to show. Um. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to find it. Maybe we'll have to have another try at this. Uh -huh. So you can only access this using obsidian blocks. I know it's dark again. Apologies. I'm trying to build this as fast as possible. We will wrap this up very soon, but I thought, you know what? For people today, let's just really make this unique. There's a green one, right? So, your standard green world. However, it's upside down. Yes, you are actually upside down right now. <laughs> the whole sky is actually where we would normally be walking right now. Yeah, I know. So you're walking in, in, on the clouds? Basically. And it looks like we're walking on normal land, but we're not. This is technically the sky. That is where we're supposed to be walking. So what happens if you fly up? Uh, you can't actually... Like, you can hit the blocks, right? 
see. They're all real. They all work. You can add blocks to it if you want. Right. Do, do, do. But yeah, it just, it gets wackier. And the more you go to different dimensions and just go to different places, it just gets stranger and stranger and stranger. But yeah, we'll do one last one. Hopefully we can come across a really cool portal. If not, we might actually do something like this where we just explore random uh, dimensions because I, I love exploring, right? Uh, put a box here. I agree. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, interesting. There's like stars. More boats. Yeah, but these are different colored too. Oh, we like the boats, but. <laughs> yeah, I do like the boats. The boats like us. <laughs> but look at this. This is all weird. Look at the clouds. They're just mixed in and stuffed around. Oh, there's a ladder there. Hang on. There's a ladder there. Yeah. Does that lead to a portal, question mark? I don't know. Or is that just a boat that's inside the world? I could be we're in boat world. Even, like, the land is a boat. Hi, guys. Welcome to boat world where we like boats. Nothing but boats here. Yeah, uh, so... Okay, we'll do that book again. And then we type in the word boat. <laughs> It's just, oh, this is just so much. You could be here forever. And that's the point of this update, to be here forever. Right? Um, okay, what do we type in? You know there's one person still going through all this. Yeah, it's... It's crazy. I have to find the list to type in. This. And they just add more and more crazy dimensions. I think if you type in sponge, it, you could, like, really... Go to SpongeBob's world. Yeah, it's... Oh. I think it's sponge. Is that how they spell sponge? Spongy. I think that's how they've done it. There's also other stuff as well, like warping, that I'll have to show you. Um, sponge. I, have I spelled that right? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Sponge. <laughs> Sponge. Sponge. Okay. So, there is another thing as well on top of the thing. <laughs> yeah, there's something else I there's haven't shown. There's more things. Yeah, there's plenty of things. Like, if you want an update today, this is one awesome update. This is this is an update to keep you at home for a long time. <laughs> so, no more Don't like this dimension? Go to the other dimension. Oh, it even looks spongy, like. Oh. oh. We're inside SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. So this is actual sponge. This is the actual object itself. Uh, if we type in sponge, funny enough, because it's here. There's wet sponge and there's sponge. Anything that you type in the book, it will basically create. It's like an, a crazy book of imagination that you can come with. Anything. <laughs> Anything you can do. It's just crazy. Well, think of another thing while we're here. I'm trying to think. Oh, colours, right? If you want want colours, for example. Watch this. I like red. Right. Just put the portal down anyway. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, you have to physically put it. Please don't out. Did you just... Yeah, <laughs> I always do this. Red. Oh, it's green for some reason. Or red. Oh, oh it tricked you. <laughs> in, I'm the Terminator. So everything in this world is, is red. red. Everything. Wow. All your standard objects. I told you, when you enable this feature, you get some really cool stuff. In this world, it can be super hell. <laughs> Hi, welcome to super hell. If you type in that, you'll get some interesting stuff too. I wonder what happens if you type in Animal Crossing. Uh, I don't know. I that think, would be pretty metal. I think we should do our own thing on this as well. Like, if we go into commands here, I think it's warp black. This is warping to black. Oh, I think there's one other word you've got to add to the uh, list. 
Ah, oh, it's black and light, that's right. Black light? Yeah. Black light. So everything that's supposed to be light is black. Black light, yeah. Look at that. All black. Wow. And the water's black. <laughs> And if you want to go to another one, like you can be here forever. I, I love this. And I think, you know what? We can't even see the text. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Walk. I had to go into the air where the lights were. If you type in, I don't know, colors. Because I think people want to see this. Uh oh. Hey, we're back in chest world. <laughs> It's chess world, but these are all the different colors mixed together. And as you keep moving on, as you know, Minecraft's oh, infinite. It goes on and on and on. So there is a lot of crazy stuff that we have done today. And we will do our own thing on this. I don't know how long this video is going to run for, for when we do our piece on Minecraft Infinite Dimensions. <laughs> uh, it, like I said, it, there's gonna probably be a couple videos. There's so much in this that I cannot cover this all in this news update. But if you wanna check it out right now, I'll actually show you we can uh, get this from. So, we'll just quit out for the moment. Quit game. Desktop window. Back to that. And Minecraft isn't popping up for some reason. Okay. Installations. Funny that I want to bring up Minecraft in the uh, window, which is very strange. Nope, nope, nope. I can't show it for some reason. Ah, is that it? Is that what we're looking for? Nah. There's a bit of a bug in it, but uh, we'll try one more time again just to see. Nope, nope. Uh, uh that's the whole point of this it's very buggy so yeah so damn but basically that was uh, the new minecraft april fools update one more bit of news that everybody should know about there's a huge stream coming a very very big stream and it's on April 7th yes. and April 8th for us Australians basically and it will tie in for everything that's going on in the world so everybody on the internet mark your calendars for that day and stream that day because we are raising awareness for what is going on in the world it's very important that we get the research out there so we can get out and do the stuff that we love. Yeah. It's... Yeah. No, I just thought I'd, I wanted to show that off today. It's really cool stuff, and I haven't ever seen anything quite like it before in Minecraft. So we will do our own segment uh, on, on this. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be another day. So thank you all for watching this very long news update. We hope you've all enjoyed it because we wanted to make this a real special one. And uh, we'll provide more details about the stream when it comes out. Thank you. Well, just before, for the people that want this Minecraft thing now, the only way I could describe this, and I hope people can understand how to do it yeah if you go into your minecraft launcher and go up to a thing that says installations there's a box that says snapshots if you tick that it will have the latest snapshot which is 20 w 14 infinite you download that and that's how you get the cool minecraft april fool's joke 
so. Sorry I couldn't show it on screen, so, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. We'll hopefully be back tomorrow with another Saijin Wave news update. Uh, who knows? The news is starting to get a bit slower. We're starting to notice now. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I'm JSB360. And I'm Matthew. <laughs> and we'll check you all later for another stream news update. <laughs> Anything, yes, really. <laughs> basically, news update, whatever. Thank Bye you, guys. Paul.